Hey, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you today from Knoxville. Going to talk about something that's fascinated me ever since my days in medical school. See, when you first enter medical school as a first year student, the first thing you do is you get assigned a cadaver, which is a dead body that you dissect for six months. I mean, you're in there working with that cadaver every day for six months. I mean, you smell like formaldehyde. You know every nerve and muscle and tension and organ in the body because you're kind of ferreting out everything through this dissection process. It's really fascinating. It's something a lot of medical or pre-med students they kind of fear it, but once you get in there and work with it, it's just one of the most amazing experiences you'll ever have. You'll probably never get that experience again unless you're a pathologist. But in any event, um, the reason I say this is because one of the most interesting things that we learn to dissect out is the longest nerve in the body called the vagus nerve. You know, it really comes from the 10th cranial nerve, and it goes down all the way to most every organ in your body. And it's really responsible for your vagal tone. For people that might not know about that, you have really two systems that, that control the energy and calmness of your body. One is your sympathetic nervous system that controls fight or flight. Your, uh, you know, when you're scared or when you need to move or act. Um, think of sympathetic tone. It increases your heart rate. Um, you're ready for anything when that sympathetic tone kicks in, which you need. But most of the time, you really need the other, the parasympathetic tone, which means the, the part of your nervous system that controls your automatic breathing. I mean, if something didn't stimulate your lungs to breathe, you know, you'd be dead So at night. So it, it also aids in digestion. Um, it calms you down, slows your heart rate down, controls sweating, controls your digestion process when you're, not, when you're not thinking about it. Things that you don't think about, it's actively doing. Um, so this vagus nerve is really fascinating. And when you tease it out all the way from your brain down to your gut, you realize that it's a very important nerve in controlling yourself. Um, you know, when people get vagal, that means they pass out when they're getting their blood drawn or get a shot. It's that vagus nerve that kind of contributes to that, uh, that over-parasympathetic, sympathetic response tone. So it also aids you in um, calming down inflammation. As you know, inflammation causes all disease. And your vagus nerve plays a big part in decreasing inflammation and stoking or protecting your immune system. Um, I just recently read this book called Vagal Up. And it talks about um, how to stimulate your vagal nerve for your own benefit. I really got into it because in searching for ways to treat COVID long haul syndrome that I'm treating a ton of now. You know, people, a lot of people just aren't recovering from COVID. You know, I suspect that I'll be taking care of COVID patients the rest of my career. Um, and these long haulers, trying to get them better because a lot of them that make it through COVID 19 are suffering. I mean, I treat many every day, and it can affect every organ system in your body. Well, it turns out, you know, when I did this deep dive into this, took the course in treating long-haul syndrome, uh, they talked a lot about how COVID overactivates your sympathetic nervous system. I mean, think about it. When you're, when you're getting, you're sick with a disease, a virus like COVID, I mean, you're scared out of your wits. You think you may die from it. So it kind of overstimulates that, the heart rate and uh, makes you nervous you're not sleeping it really increases that cytokine storm that um, is a bad thing anyway that COVID can cause so actually when you're nervous when you're sick it makes it a lot worse uh, so if you can't override that sympathetic nervous system with your parasympathetic nervous system you're going to do worse so 
in the deep dive I did on treating COVID long hauler syndrome, uh, I found out about this overstimulation of your sympathetic nervous system, which we see with so many other diseases. Um, I mean, that's why you need to learn how to meditate and, you know, relax and heal yourself, deep breathe, etc. Well, this vagal tone that you have uh, has a lot to do with that. It really, 80% of it comes from that vagus nerve. So in my studies of this, I found that you can electrically stimulate that vagus nerve through different points on your body, especially your ear, uh, to calm yourself down. It's almost like getting um, acupuncture, which virtually does the same thing uh, without getting stuck by needles. Um, it's more of an external stimulation. Uh, I've tried it. Um, and it really doesn't hurt. It really works. I've seen it slow heart rates down by 20 beats per minute in less than a minute uh, by uh, putting this electrical stimulator on certain points of your ear. Um, Ernie Dixon, who is going to do an, an interview with uh, Ben in one of his Outside the Box uh, podcasts, will kind of demonstrate it on a, on a patient and, uh, and we'll show you how this thing works. But it turns out that it really treats COVID long haul syndrome very well to let you kind of bring in a more natural way to heal yourself. Because if, if you can learn to calm down and let your body's immune system kind of take over, um, you know, you can be way ahead of the game. You're going to heal a lot faster. As you know, COVID-19 can cause a lot of brain dysfunction. I saw a study this past week where we're going to be seeing a lot more Parkinson's and Alzheimer's dementia from uh, COVID long haulers. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you how bad you had COVID, if you had a very mild case or a bad case, um, then, you know, you're not going to do as well. And there's certain things you can do to build your own immune system up. You know, we've talked about various supplements like NAC and um, NR and D-ribose and uh, high-dose EPA, DHA is ways you can help yourself also. But it turns out this is a great way to kind of bring your own parasympathetic nervous system into play where you can kind of heal yourself uh, from the inside out. And it's just a great new tool. Ernie Dixon is uh, my physical therapist buddy who works in our office has taken course in this and become certified in it. He, he's got more certifications than anybody I know but he's also a great guy but um, he's doing this and will demonstrate this with Ben on a patient to uh, show you kind of how this thing works. So think about the vagus nerve. One of the most fascinating and interesting parts of your brain, gut, heart, lungs, also brings healing to your lungs. Remember, COVID-19 is a lung disease that causes subsequent damage to all of your organs, from your brain to your kidneys uh, to your heart. Look at all the myocarditis we're seeing um, now um, with COVID syndromes. But anyway, think about the vagus nerve. I hope I've explained a little bit on how this works. We'll take a little deeper dive into it with Ernie when we do another podcast on this. But uh, read about vagal turn, tone and your parasympathetic nervous system. Very important to your well-being. Uh, thanks. This is Dr. Tom Rogers. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.